Matt here. Thanks for stopping by again. Always good to see you. Hey, just a quick prediction. Um, now that they're getting the the um, handles, the recharge handles, down to I think less than 10, they're getting close to a standardization, a, uh, a at least a national standardization and maybe an international standardization for the handles that you plug into your electric vehicle to charge it up. Um, I think they I think they're down to like eight or ten, but I think they're in the in the single digits. Uh, let me make a prediction that they are going to get to one or two, and that's the criteria of being able to tax to find out how many miles your car has on it if you drive an electrical vehicle and transmit that over the new power meters. I've got a uh, it's pretty new. It's probably five years old, maybe six or seven years old. On the side of this house, it's a it's made by Landis and Gear, and it's a um, it's a Gridstream RF. There's even an FCC certificate on it, Federal Communications Commission. It's wireless, so there are no more meter readers that have to walk past your house. And I think it's transmitted to something on a pole to where the um, the power company can track how much you're using if if you've got a power outage and reroute your power, but my prediction is um, since people driving electrical vehicles are no longer buying gallons of gas, which are taxed, um, the, local, the local government can no longer get tax from you by driving an electrical vehicle. So what they're going to do is they're going to find out how many miles your car has on it simply by the plug that talks to the computer because the, the charging system is computerized, but that plug will also be able to pull the mileage, send it to the power meter on the side of your house, and then transmit that to the uh, local municipality, and, and the government will be able to tax you on how many miles you're driving. Because right now, I don't know what the gas tax is, 40, 60 cents a gallon, something like that. They're no longer getting that from people that drive electrical vehicles. So this is a way that they will be able to tax people driving electrical vehicles by the number of miles they drive and that's gleaned from the way I said from the cable that's plugged into the car while it's charging it can pull the mileage off there and transmit it over your local power meter um, and get money out of you this way I don't drive an electrical vehicle but I think that's probably the mechanism and criteria that will end up standardizing the nozzles that I should say the, the recharge handles that plug into cars um, I remember, well, I don't know when it was, but, you know, gas cars, we've got one nozzle that goes in there for uh, gasoline and one nozzle that goes in there for diesel. So someday soon they might be down to two, you know, one for the Teslas and one for everybody else. I don't know. Just a prediction, folks. Thanks for stopping by again. Hope we see you soon. Take care.